I'm just sat in our living room. Our living room is actually one of the few rooms in the house that is pretty much fully finished except for furniture because one of the things we realized once we moved into this house is that all of our furniture from our old house from the living room doesn't really work in here at all because we had like an l-shaped sofa to be honest we've been saying since we lived in Lytham that we would get a new sofa because this sofa was only meant to be like a temporary we couldn't find anything better um room Rue is sat opposite itching her ear. Rue is having to go to a dog dermatologist, everybody, which is more expensive than any dermatologist I've ever seen because she just never stops itching her ears and we have honestly tried everything. And the vets are at the point where they don't really know what has caused it and they want her to just go on steroids for pretty much her whole life, which obviously is a big no from me. Um, so yeah, she's going to a dog dermatologist, but that was her itching in the background if you heard that. Anyway, that's a very strange place to start. She's here now, happy. The living room, because we had this like L-shaped sofa, it just doesn't work. And over here, we've got like a wood burner and we toyed with the idea of putting the TV above it, but then we were just kind of worried whether that would cause damage to the TV, because obviously Kenny's got this ridiculously huge TV. It's actually really hard to find a way that works um, in here because it's not the biggest room. It's such a lovely bright room. Like you can see in the reflection that we have shutters in here um, and it's lovely. It's honestly one of my favorite cozy rooms. And in the winter, I know we're midsummer, so let's not get into winter, but in the winter with the fireplace and a Christmas tree. I don't know if it's bad luck to talk about Christmas in June, but. You guys get the vibe, it's gonna be so nice. Stop itching, stop itching, hey? I've become one of those dog mums. She's got all these anti-itch, prebiotic, probiotic supplement things. She's um on her back having fuss. Anyway, I thought today we could just spend the day together. Um, we are obviously just doing things around the house, like what is new, that is my entire life. But I also thought we'd do like a bit of a what I eat in a day because I've not given you any new recipes. I don't know if we're doing any new recipes. I'll ask Kenny what's for dinner. I've been trying to get back into a bit of a routine. I was talking about this last week. Um, but I have been to Pilates a couple of times this week and I've been wearing my Apple Watch just to kind of make sure that I am getting enough steps in and all of that stuff. But I'm also about to come onto my period so all of that kind of goes out the window a bit, doesn't it? Like I get so tired in the days before my period and also I want to eat everything. My skin breaks out, my skin's all broken out here. I'm going to sit and talk for hours and hours. It's just going to be, like I said, a day around the house. We've got loads of garden stuff to do, which is going to be really like counterintuitive because the garden's just got to a point where it looks quite nice but we just can't stand the AstroTurf like it's gotta go. So we're gonna obviously make the garden a whole massive mess again today. But you'll see the process and I know it'll be worth it in the end. Got the decorators here today, so we'll just work around them. And then the house is really getting there now. Our carpets go down next week, apart from in the hallways, because we've got different stuff happening in the hallways. But our carpets in our bedrooms go down next week. Our countertops in our kitchen, um, like in the on the island and in the pantries and stuff that goes in next week too. So yeah, we're very very nearly getting there. tiny girl. I just thought I would sit down and show you some of the bits that mum and I picked up when we went to Home Sense the other day. Rue is, I think you can see her ears, she's literally here. Hi, 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 hi. 
Look at that little nose. Nothing too exciting. I'm trying not to go crazy in like Home Sense, TK Maxx and all of those places until the house is a bit more sorted because the last thing we need at the moment is more clutter in every room. But we went to go and find a mirror actually for the main bathroom because we took like a mirrored cabinet off the wall because it just wasn't the vibes, you know? But now we need to find a replacement mirror in there because it's impossible like brushing your teeth and doing your skincare without a mirror. But the main bathroom is one of the areas of the house that we didn't really change. And the thing is with this house is we've kind of changed our minds so many times on how much to do and how much not to do. And it's really, really difficult with Kenny's job, obviously, because we never really know how long we're going to be anywhere because obviously he can kind of move clubs at almost any time. And sort of halfway through the renovations, we thought we might not ever move in, but that obviously changed and here we are. So it's kind of a really weird mix between rooms that we've fully gone almost all out on and then rooms that we haven't really done. So anyway, that's just to explain that. But for that reason, the main bathroom is one of the rooms that we didn't really touch. So we're kind of trying to just make it work for us um, as best we can, even though it's not kind of exactly how we would like it anyway so we've got a mirror for that but i'm going to go upstairs i'm going to get kenny to help me so we can kind of like prop it on the wall and i can get your opinion because mum and i looked at it yesterday and really couldn't make our minds up as to whether it worked or not but i thought while we sat here just gathered together the other bits that we bought just to show you like i said it's really nothing too exciting so talking of Rue being on my lap one of the things i bought of course if you have a pet and you can go to home sense without buying something for them you are a stronger person than me so i picked up Rue another bed she totally does not need another bed and i'm gonna have to come up with an excuse for this with kenny um because she has about four however what i have told myself is it is a four-story house now so she potentially might need a bed for every single floor um and we keep a bed in the car as well and this one i just really like the color and it's also super super tiny i'm pretty sure it's like a cat bed um, but it's the perfect size for Rue, so I got that. And by the way, home sense at the moment, like everything is on clearance. So this was on clearance and it was nine pounds, so I could not leave it there. And another thing I picked up, which is so random, that I actually love and it works super well, is I filled this, so it's heavy, is this little medicine box. I need to take the stickers off, but we've always had just like this cardboard. I think it's a shoe box actually that we keep like all of our medicine and stuff in. So I saw this and I just thought this was really cute. And they had loads of these by the way. So I think they'll have them in all of the home sense places. I won't show you inside because it's full of medicine now, but um, it's got different compartments. So it's got like a removable top compartment and then I think like four little compartments. So for us, one of them is just filled with plasters and stuff like that. But yeah, I love that. And then the final thing, it's not getting any more exciting, were these oven gloves. Oh, Rue is biting the pom-poms on them. I just thought that the print was really nice and we don't actually have any oven gloves. We pick everything up with tea towels. It's one of those situations. So I could really use these. I thought they were very like country kitchen. Um, and these were also in clearance. They were £2.50. Apparently they used to be £17, which I can believe because they feel like really good quality ones. Um, so yeah, they're my little purchases. Let me go rope Kenny in and we'll show you the mirror. This is where we need a mirror above the sink, but we used to have a big cupboard on the wall there. And rather than replacing the cupboard, we thought let's just put like a wall mirror there. So we bought this one. I mean, it's currently in the bath and there's just stuff everywhere in here because we're not really using this room yet. But yeah, my mum and I found this the other day when we went to Home Sense and it was on clearance and it was 21 pounds and it's actually a really really big mirror and it's in good condition except for it's got a few marks on the um frame but obviously we can just kind of mask this off and respray it so the sink is new in here and we've got a new toilet but like the shower for example we're just leaving and these tiles wouldn't really be my first choice but they're the whole way around the bathroom and we just thought it's a huge job to change them but we did change the bathroom floor to these like wood effect tiles which i actually really really like probably put it down like half a yeah okay, so this kind of gives you an idea the mirror is actually really heavy so kenny can't hold it up but obviously it would need to come up because it's covering where an old cupboard used to be obviously it's really hard to tell but i just can't really decide if i like it or if it's too big too small the wrong shape or if i just don't like it so yeah let me know what you think about the mirror whether you think it goes whether you think we need like a more i don't know just generally your thoughts because i'm so undecided on it
going to make some lunch now and I think I'm going to make a classic, something that I will always have if we've got leftover rice, which is kimchi fried rice. So I'll show you how I make it, but it's really, really simple. It's basically rice. Normally rice that's like one or two days old is better, which sounds really weird, but Kenny taught me and he's right. Right. What needs to be dry? What the rice needs to be dry. Yeah, because yeah, like when you get rice out of a rice cooker, obviously it's still like moist, for want of a better word. So it's rice with just kimchi from a jar thrown in. This kimchi that I use, I don't know why, because I always get this one, but this one is so, so, so spicy. Like normally I would add white pepper, might add some chili and some other bits and pieces to make it like a bit spicy, but this is like, honestly the hottest thing and i put in a bit of vegan cheese because it just makes it so good and then i normally put some greens in as well but i need to see what we've got going on in here so let's make it oh we've got spinach so that's perfect so i can just throw that in Lunch is served. It's actually the easiest, most simple, takes like two minutes kind of lunch. And it's just my favorite. And I think it's kind of healthy because obviously you've got all the fermented veggies in the kimchi. And then you've got spinach and I guess the cheese is not great, but you've got to have a bit of fun in life, haven't you? Mm -mm -mm. Really thinks it's yum. Mm -mm. We need to get some food for her. And also for me, being quick and easy is so important because I always eat my meals when I'm starving. You know, I'm one of those people that waits until they are so hungry and then needs to eat immediately. So if something was gonna take like an hour, that's just not going to work for me. We've just come out on a family trip. We've got Rue with us as well. And we're driving to the garden center, which is literally just around the corner from us because we need to get some bits obviously for laying this turf because I don't know if you could tell the situation, but we thought there was just like a small layer of like gravel that they put underneath the astro turf for drainage or whatever, which makes sense for them but now that we've actually raked it back a bit and had a good look it's like this thick with stones so we're going to need to scrape all of that back which is now a huge huge job but you're really excited about that one wasn't kenny said today was the hardest day of work or pretty much you've ever had in your life basically it's going to be a really really big job but we're definitely going to need some topsoil to give the grass like any chance of actually taking and growing once we put the turf down so we're heading to the garden center we're gonna have a look around but we're definitely gonna get some like topsoil oh you're in the wrong lane where where are you going just driving is anyone else's boyfriend or husband like this i literally said i am gonna plug the map in just follow the map it's only a mile and a half away so far we've been in the wrong lane twice so what's gonna happen here then kenny it's a dobbies which i think they have like all up and down the country and they're dog friendly did you know this is my first time ever going to a garden center when i have a garden of my own so it's gonna be very exciting are you very very excited oh, i've never heard of dobbies no, no this is a, like a, no th it's this is bunnings it's, it's this start. is a bunnings no, yeah in bunnings. australia the garden centers are called like or like one of the big chains is called bunnings this is this is a bunnings a, a uk equivalent so is that exciting a bit more exciting now is there a sausage sizzle a sausage sizzle i can't see it now do they have one of them at every bunnings anyway we'll see you when we get there big cup of tea and come down into the basement because I thought we could choose a new book together. I've got my very mini book collection going on behind me 
um, because I finished my most recent fiction book while we were in Australia. I read The Paper Palace, which I have kind of like mixed feelings on. I found it to be like a good entertaining read, like not a life-changing book by any means, um, but still worth reading. I did enjoy it and I did want to know what happened. Like in the end, it was quite compelling like that. Um, but I would definitely say read the trigger warnings because it deals with some pretty heavy themes and it discusses them quite graphically. So I suppose it's a bit weird to call it a holiday read when it deals with such heavy themes, but that's not what most of the book is about. It's basically like a love triangle kind of book. I did enjoy it. It is an entertaining read, but it's just not like life changing, you know? Um, but anyway, so I thought we could choose a new book together. Um, and it's very rogue of me to be in the basement because if you've watched basically any of our house videos, I always kind of spoke about the basement just being like a storage room. I was like, we're not really gonna do anything to it. I imagine I'll just like do the laundry down here and that kind of thing. But I did want to do a little bit of freshening up in here. So we ended up getting a new floor put down and we've had it redecorated. Um, this is all kind of like built in storage that was here when we bought the house, which we haven't touched because um, I think it was going to be really hard to decorate it because of the finish on the wood or something. And because I was just going to use it as a storage room, I thought it's not really worth doing that. However, because we are still having the upstairs decorated, we had to store a lot of our stuff down here, including like some of my books, for example. And the more of my homey bits that we put in here, the more I started thinking, it's actually quite cozy down here, which I never thought I'd say like the ceiling, that's like the ceiling, it's a super low ceiling, like Kenny can't stand up straight, but obviously for me, it's absolutely fine. I'm like five foot eight, just for reference, but obviously Kenny's a lot taller than me. So yeah, I've really weirdly and very unexpectedly kind of come round to the basement and now I sort of love it down here. I think if you could get the vibe, do you know what I think it is? I think it's these like down lighters in the cupboards. They obviously like light up your books. I mean, it's a bit overpowering. You can't actually see the books on the camera, um, but it just gives it like a really cozy feeling. There is a window also, which is why the light's changing because the sun's just come back out. So over there, there's like a built-in desk and that's where my computer is at the the moment and yeah especially in the evenings it's just so cozy in here this is definitely not all of my books but it's just all the ones that we've managed to uncover so far like unpacking is chaotic so let me pull out a few books and we can discuss these are my three options They're all very different but I'm super excited to read them also I was thinking when I was pulling them out I definitely need to color coordinate that bookshelf I think it will look so good but we can do that together once all of my books are here as you know i pick my books up from charity shops just kind of over time like whenever i'm near like an oxfam books or something i always go in um and the oxfam books near us here is probably the best one i've ever been to last time i went i had to stop looking because i couldn't carry any more books home so good but anyway these are just three that i've collected over time the three options are call me by your name um this one my sister recommended to me it's basically a love story and it's set in italy i believe it almost definitely if my sister recommended it to me um yeah the italian riviera and it's all about experiencing your first love and just how intense that is um and all consuming and all of that kind of stuff i don't know if it's a good ending or not but i also have the sequel to this on the bookshelf there so that is one possible option maybe quite a nice summer read if it's set in Italy. Then the second book is The Beekeeper of Aleppo. This is one of the books that I've wanted to read just for years and years. But I'm so stubborn with my charity shop thing about books that I always just wait because I know that they'll eventually come up. This is often on people's like best books they've ever read list so I'm really excited about this one although I know it's probably quite harrowing. And then the third one was a recommendation from my mum. I actually don't know much about this at all. It's called Hamnet by Maggie O'Farrell. I don't think my mum's actually read it but she listens to the radio about books that are popular and what the books are about and all of that stuff and my mum said that apparently this is a really good one. So oh on a summer's day in 1596 a young girl in Stratford upon Avon that's where I went to school um takes to her bed with a fever. Her twin brother Hamnet searches everywhere for help. Why is nobody home? Their mother Agnes is over a mile away in the garden where she grows medicinal herbs. Their father is working in London. Neither parent knows that one of the children will not survive the week. Oh, okay. Hamnet is a novel inspired by the son of a famous playwright. Oh, I see, I see. But yeah, I mean, it's a bit of a different read for me, but I really enjoy reading books about all different kinds of things because I think that's how you learn 
from them and I love books that open up like a whole new world to you or explain like an area in the world that you've never been so you can imagine it or a way of living that you've never really experienced or thought about um yeah I'm kind of leaning towards this it's really strange that it's set in Stratford-upon-Avon I went to the girls grammar school there but then I also pulled out this book which I have read before this is non-fiction I'm sure this is not new to anybody, but it's the life-changing magic of tidying. I have read this before, but I feel like it didn't have a lasting impact on me. And if my mum, my boyfriend, my dad, my sister are watching this, they will laugh because I'm not the tidiest person. We talked about this, like I'm a clean person, but with my clothes and stuff, I am messy, which I'm gonna try to be better at once my dressing room is fitted, but we'll see. Anyway, having just moved into a new house, I thought it might be quite timely to uh, read this. So that's my plan for the afternoon. I'm gonna sit, have my cup of tea, which is probably going cold, and um, read some new books. My little family. Oh, Ray's just seen me through the window. It's actually turned out to be such a nice sunny evening and our kitchen gets all the evening sunlight, which is so nice. Look at the progress out here. Kenny has honestly worked non-stop today. We've started now like turning over the soil to get some better soil to the surface. Anyway, it's now dinner time in the Adkins Dougal household. While Kenny finishes up in the garden, I'm gonna get started on dinner. I'm gonna do some prep on the veggies. I think we're having a really simple dinner tonight, but honestly one of my all time favorites, which is pesto pasta. But what really makes or breaks pesto pasta is the pesto itself and Kenny, bought this pesto the other day and it is just, I could honestly just eat it straight out the jar. It's so delicious. Let me go find it and I'll show you. It's this one and it's just so good. I think it's raw vegan. Um, this is what it looks like. Honestly, just can't even begin to explain to you how good this is. And it's made with extra virgin olive oil, cashew nuts and basil, sea salt and pine nuts. And I love that it's made with olive oil because a lot of the pestos that you buy in jars are made with like sunflower or cheaper oils, which obviously do not have the benefits that olive oil has. Um, so yeah, let's get started. I just started prepping some of the ingredients for dinner. So we've got some courgettes, we've got some cabernero, tomato, the pesto, the key ingredient. And I thought I would give Kenny the choice between these two pastas. All pasta is made equal to me, so I do not mind. And this is kind of the base for dinner. I'm sure Kenny will add different bits then. We probably need some more veggies. I'll see what we've got. We have got some green beans in here and a tiny bit of red pepper, which is left over from Ree's food. I mean, you probably think we're insane, but it's like organic everything. I think she's got lamb this week, and then obviously a mix of veggies, but we just want a healthy little dog. Um, What else have we got? What's in the bottom drawer? Mm -mm -mm. Oh yeah, we have some spinach left over, don't we? I'll see what Kenny wants to pull out and I'll keep you in the loop. We also have some capers and some olives that we could throw in. And then I nearly forgot, obviously, a key ingredient is some vegan cheese. We went for spaghetti. So the pasta options I showed you, we went with none of them. And now we've got spaghetti that's instead. This should, should be with long pasta. I don't know if that's true. I don't know either, but that's just... What you personally think. Dinner is ready and it looks so, so good. This is honestly like my dream summer evening meal. We've got all the veggies that we talked about. Oh, I'm getting a few more. And then loads and loads of pesto. There's nothing better than when it's like really, really coated in pesto. It looks so good. I honestly cannot wait to eat this. Just finished doing all of the washing up and making the kitchen nice and tidy again for the morning. I've come in here to wait for Kenny because we're gonna watch the second episode of 10 Pound Poms. We watched episode one with my mum the other day and we really like it so far. And I think it's really interesting because obviously it's like the contrast between the culture in Australia and the UK back then and probably still to some extent now. River's here chewing her chew loudly so you can probably hear that. And yeah, that's what we're gonna do for the rest of the evening. This coming week is an exciting week in the house because we get carpets, countertops, the decorators finish, and some of the little things that we need to fix in the house, like our lights above our island, only one works at the moment because something to do with the wiring. Um, but all of those bits are being finished and fixed 
this week so yeah it really feels like we're finally getting there and also we should have turf down in the garden so the garden will be really pretty again for the rest of summer um or i don't know it might look a little bit ropey to begin with but we'll get there there should be loads of updates next week i hope you have the best week ever thank you so much for being here and i will see you next sunday bye guys mm -hmm.